to notice that the male side technology makes the consumer problematic. H.R. 37, 76, Energy Storage Technology Advancement Act of 2007, and H.R. 37, 75, Industrial Energy Efficiency Research and Development Act of 2007. We uh, will put the committee on notice that we had originally also voted to deal with the bill from the industrial section today, or section today, but apparently uh, it's not ready to be dealt with yet, so we have like four or fifteen good days ready to go. Uh, we will have the city of the block on the side of the day with one statement. Today in the science and technology committee, we'll consider two bills. The first is the Energy Storage Technology Advancement Act, H.R. 3776. And I would like to thank my friend, Michael Nicolau, for his interest in this important issue and the work he and his staff have put into the bill. H.R. 3776 includes provisions for the bill to allow the diesel ridership and plan to incorporate them into it. which makes some technical changes and other improvements in the bill. I would like to thank Mr. Barton, uh, Ms. Biggers, Mr. Beavis, and his staff for working with us to develop the amendment. The second bill, we will work up to date with the Industrial Energy Efficiency Research and Development Act, H.R. 3775. H.R. 3775 was introduced by Deputy General Brown, Assemblyman Chairman Nick Lapson, and State Chairman Lapson, and Ranking Member Nicholas. I worked with them on the matters that that will make several changes to the interest in the legislation. As I have seen to me, tackle such an important and underserved area as this, and for Mr. Lamson has worked hard with the industry, the university, the DOE, and the Army to make this a good bill. I now recognize Mr. Barton to present his opening remarks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my first minute of support is two bills that we're working with today. Uh, both of them work for the beneficial area of the area. Storage Technology Advancement Act will also help our country build energy more efficiently and as a practical proponent of the Department of Energy to develop energy storage designs for stationary and peripheral applications. This will allow our country to utilize the renewable energy sources for the production of increased power and allow for conventional generation to become even more efficient as energy storage devices will reduce the need for electricity. Smart meeting technology. 
of writers that the Christian views that both sides are sides that all have to be justified by Scripture. And you're right about that. You're absolutely right. It's not sometimes absolute, and you're very right about that. It has to be jurisdiction. And I will now set you not the way of the city. I will now consider the church of 37, section 5, the judge of the energy of this to the rest of the world. Act 2007. I hear the general chairman, our chief chairman of the energy and environmental subcommittee, Mr. Lansing, by the rest of the Scottish Bill. Again, that sounds very nice. Well, I'm glad that the public can support that. This bill is nice. It understands that the Department of Energy is suggesting that technology and programs for credit for innovation that are important to development and research, enhancing the industrial assessment center program at universities, and supporting more research and development in new innovations and technologies that stimulate the efficiency of primary uh, improvements in most energy intensive manufacturing processes. On September 25th, the environment experts and energy industry witnesses testified as to the need for a timing for this legislation. And it is the bill on the uh, night of October, and last week we worked on uh, most of the work in the subcommittee. The International Technology Program is already planned very fast for producing a number of high quality, market ready, uh, technolo- technologically advanced and understand industry that will fill in the need for energy crisis. Possibly making this industry more competitive in German and American jobs. And fortunately, we have seen the budget for this program drop rapidly in the last few years. This legislation is needed to continue supporting the successes of this program while shifting the funding level to reflect our priorities to ensure energy efficiency, environmental performance, and competitiveness with industrial efficiency and research and development. I ask my colleagues to support this important legislation. I would like to thank you. Mr. Ross, what can I ask for your motion bill? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the bill for the Energy Department of Energy. Does anyone else wish to make an answer? The same resolution is considered as read, and on the amendment in point, the members proceed with the amendments in the order on the roster. Without objection, so ordered. The first amendment on the roster is a down amendment of the vote. Mr. Lansing, are you ready to proceed? Yes, I move to amend the amendment against the clerk of the fourth amendment. I move to HR 3775, offered by Mr. Lansing, and te- technically say Mr. Lee, Mr. Saltino. Thank you, ma'am. The same is in dispute with the read. Without objection, I go to order. I have to ask the gentleman from Texas, the Prime Minister, to explain this amendment. Mr. Chairman, this amendment incorporates, <coughs> incorporates suggestions by witnesses that our hearing and outside stakeholders have provided comments on the bill. Number three, Mr. Lee has been working with us on this amendment and made some uh, minor corrections and uh, additions to the bill. We have added an additional finding and further outline of past successes of the program and working uh, with some energy intensive in in addition, this amendment strikes uh, subsection C of section 3 to eliminate the equal amount of statements of authority already given to the Secretary of Energy. And finally, the amendment adds a plan or report to be submitted to Congress to provide an added accountability and provide some specific documentation on how the program is going to advance with the industrial sector. And once again, I thank the colleague that Lee has been working with me and I encourage all of our colleagues to support this amendment. Say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Aye. 